In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Father Larry went buzzing out to run over to be with the school children, so, oh, excuse me, the teachers. <laughs> uh, maybe this is all the students aren't back. Well, it is what it is. We pray for teachers, we pray for our students, parents, we pray for ourselves, uh, as we now call to mind our sin. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nation into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Come in word and in sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy upon us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to life, life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved daughters and sons, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not talk to you as spiritual people, but, but as fleshy people, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able, even now, for you are still of the flesh. While there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of man? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos? After all, what is Paul? Ministers through whom you became believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers. You are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord. Our response, blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Bless the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. From his fixed throne he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each he who knows all their works. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. 
for in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Be in your heart and your lips, and glory proclaim the gospel of Father the Son and Spirit. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to the captives. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each one of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak because they knew he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving their town. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Cardinal Worrell's coat of arms as a bishop is, Thy Kingdom Come. And the man who was important in his life was um, Cardinal Wright. His coat of arms was to resonate Christ. Our own Bishop David's is, Thy Kingdom Come. Bishop Paul Bradley's was, In Joyful Hope. There was a bishop in Canada, and his was, God gives the growth. We hear in our first reading today, uh, you know, they're talking about Apollos and Paul, like who gets all of this honor? One plants and other waters. But God gives the growth. God gives the growth uh, in our life. We do our part no more than our part. What is God asking of me? In the midst of, again, our pan- this pandemic, we can pray. And at times, I remember talking with, uh, which happened to be a woman, she goes, yeah, Father, you're going to tell me to keep praying. And I said, well, I am going to tell you that. P- praying isn't like going to sleep and getting comfortable in our pillow and even though that's a good place to pray. But when we pray, we're entering into fire. We're, we're entering into to, uh, the very power uh, of the living God. And that God is still in charge, even if it's his permissive will, it's still God's will. And I'll tell you how I try to get through this is, okay, Jesus, keep me close to this cross Keep me close to you. Keep me under the cross with Mary and St. John, my eyes focused on you. And dear Lord, teach me the lessons of the cross. You know what I find interesting, and I just heard this the other day, and oh, I'm all into what I put the emojis on. I put the smiles of all different types and faces. But the central symbol of our faith isn't the emoji or the smile, it's the crucifix. 
And, and I tell myself, and at times, if I think I'm going to get past this without being crucified in some way, then I better go see a, a bevy of psychiatrists, but I would drive them all crazy. They'd be taking pills after talking to me. But it's, it's the cross. It's not like bring on the suffering, but suffering, in a sense, demands some sort of a response to just say to the living God, what is going on? What's happening? You know, what's happening in our country, our church, my family, my own health, uh, my sanity? God's in charge. We do our part. We don't have to be Apollos or Paul. We just have to be ourselves. And to dare trust that God will give the growth. Whether, like with the other bishop, like Cardinal Wright, who talks about resonating Christ, or Cardinal Whirl, thy kingdom come, or our own bishop. Um, uh, yeah. No, Paul Bradley's in Joyful Hope, and David is, yes, nothing is impossible for God. So, Lord, here we are, your people, We dare to trust that nothing is impossible with you. Help us to be alert today for something impossible and wonderful that the living God, that is the fire of God's love, will do for us, will do for you, will do for his world. We'll stand now for our petitions. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church and their shepherds, may God's grace continue to protect and guide them as they share the good news of the kingdom of God with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those serving in positions of public authority, may the wisdom of God lead them in decisions of justice and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from physical or emotional illness, May the healing hand of Jesus rest upon their bodies and minds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of this worshiping community, may the Holy Spirit help us to bear great fruit as co-workers in God's vineyard. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in the peace of Christ, may they one day rise with him to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Skylar S. Wine, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our own personal intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Father, may all that is in you flow into me. May your body and blood be our food and drink, your passion and death be our strength and our life. With you by our side, enough has been given. Let the shelter we seek be the shadow of the cross. On each of our dying, shed your light and your love. Do not let us run from the love that you offer, but hold us safe until that day comes when with all of the saints. We will praise you forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. And together we pray that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, our Father Almighty. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and peace, 
Grant that through this offerings we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of this sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always, everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, for you are the font of all holiness. Make holy these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body, the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and again giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ's death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this bread of life, this saving chalice, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, with the clergy, with all your people, and remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face, and have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, with all of the saints who have pleased you, 
throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we sing the Lord's Prayer, it's important for me to keep remembering it's God who gives us. And with confidence together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and grant us the peace, the unity of the kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Since we are unable to share in the physical reception of the Eucharist today, let us join in praying an act of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast to hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking souls. Amen. There's a writer, she's from Pittsburgh, Annie Dillard, 
She was from St. Bede's Parish, where well, she was Presbyterian at the time, now Catholic. She talked about uh, praying. She said, many of us come to, come to think in who are coming, walking into church. And she said, when we come into church, we should have our crash helmets on and even get strapped into our seats because we're having an encounter with the God of creation, the living God, you know, again, who is fire, who is energy, and indeed, love. And so it's, uh, it's quite an encounter. Uh, look what happened to uh, Jacob when he encountered the living God. He wrestled with him all night and had his name changed to Israel. So, dear God, give us the grace to encounter the real you. And if you have to shatter some of our ideas of who you are, well, then let them be shattered and uh, help us to know you. I say the prayer. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So now proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to God. God.